music before his time. And speaking right. of the 90s, oh, we hit it today? <laughs> no, we were Did close. We I just tweeted the National Weather Service. What was the official high today? Because yeah. it hasn't come in yet. Uh, we were close, but I think we missed it again today. It felt too. like 90. It, it felt like felt 91, like 90. 92. <laughs> it's going to feel like 90 this weekend. I think our best chance to get 90 will either be tomorrow or Monday, Ooh. because mm -hmm. a couple storms may interrupt things on Sunday. We'll look ahead in just a second. Oftentimes what comes with this weather pattern when we have this heat building is poor air quality. And we told you last night at 11 about the air quality alert, the no zone action day for today. And you can still help out by cutting down on your short trips, idling through the drive through Not a good idea this evening. And if you can wait to fill up the gas tank or mow the lawn until later this evening, all of those things help. With less people on the roads in terms of uh, commuting, no air quality alert for tomorrow yet, but we'll let you know if that changes. Uh, make some time for uh, something to keep you cool tomorrow. It'll be 74 degrees at 8 a.m. We will already be in the low 80s by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, forecasting 85 by noon. And again, tomorrow I think is one of our better chances to actually get 90 officially in Indianapolis. Officially right now it's 87, but there are some 90s across the area, including Kokomo and Noblesville at 91. 93 on the Ball State campus, 90 in Carmel, and in Bunker Hill. Factor in the higher levels of humidity. Even if we're not at 90, it feels like 90, somewhere between 90 and 95 for most of central Indiana. We are tracking a complex of storms, uh, much like the last couple of days, for now kind of going up and around the heat. The complex this evening is making its way across portions of Missouri and far western Illinois. That is not forecast to impact central Indiana. So that greater risk for storms and severe weather tonight is to our northwest. Nowhere near central Indiana tomorrow, but that changes on Sunday. You can see that risk for severe weather covers the northeastern part of the state. We're going to watch closely. We may have a complex of storms that forms that will actually dive from north to south. I think Future Track 13 overdoing it just a little bit. But if we get storms this weekend, I think that best chance will be on Sunday. We'll call for 91 tomorrow afternoon. Better chance for a couple of storms on Sunday. Still close to 90. 90 on Monday. Then that active weather pattern that we talked about at the top of the hour. Set to arrive Tuesday, Wednesday into the 4th of July with slightly better rain chances. We'll keep you posted as we get closer to the holiday.